A man caught on New Year's Day driving a car full of bombs on I-70 will serve two years behind bars. ABC 6's Tom Bosco was in federal court today as Andrew Bogoslowski learned his sentence and he joins us now live from downtown Columbus. Tom? Bob, in federal court this, more, or this afternoon, the district attorney called Bogoslowski dangerous, said he was driving a time bomb through our community. The judge merely called him stupid. Either way, 43-year-old Andrew Bogoslowski got a much shorter penalty than he could have gotten. Anything that uh, you want to tell us about besides weapons and ammunition here? Uh, don't think so. Anything that's going to blow up on us if we look at it? Those were the questions state troopers had for Andrew Bogoslowski on New Year's Day when they stopped him for speeding on I-70 in Madison County. They found homemade bombs, weapons, and more in his car. Bogoslowski appeared in county court, but then the federal government took the case. And now, after he pleaded guilty in April, Bogoslowski is going to prison for two years. Bogoslowski had been a soldier and was employed training other soldiers about explosives. The judge said he was satisfied Bogoslowski wasn't a terrorist or had any intent to hurt anyone. The judge said this all stemmed from a lifelong interest in explosives and that I don't think he ever grew up. Ultimately, he found a niche where his interests were reinforced in the Indiana National Guard. The judge said Bogoslowski thought he had the skills to move the explosives safely, but it was really stupid and risky and dangerous. Bogoslowski apologized in court and said, I do swear as an Eagle Scout and a former soldier that I will no longer engage in these activities. His wife and father were in court today, but wouldn't talk after the hearing. Now, Bogoslowski could have gotten nearly five years in prison, but the, he told the judge uh, that, uh, that being in prison was like being in an alien world to him. The prosecutor, however, says that Bogoslowski is dangerous, that this wasn't just a case of being irresponsible, and the assistant district attorney pointed to the fact that more than 20 other bombs were found in Bogoslowski's Indiana home. Reporting live in downtown Columbus, I'm Tom Bosco, ABC 6 News.